We'll call you up and we'll get you delivered. I want you to be open today. All right, the only thing that I'm asking is, and I hate to be like that, but when you come up, keep Jesus as the deliverer in mind. Don't do that, I just want Pagani to touch me. Don't do that. You will grieve the Holy Spirit if you make it about, yeah, this, this brother prayed for me, that's good, but I want him to, Lord, tell him to come over here. Don't pray prayers like that. I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit is my best friend. He will leave the building if you substitute him with a person. Do not get into Pagani veneration in this house. You know what veneration is? It's one level below idolatry. Meaning like, Lord, if I could just get to him. No, if you could get to Jesus. Please, guys, don't make God take me out of here and kill me because people are idolizing me. Don't do that. Don't do that. I want to live long. God will not share his glory with nobody. I did nine years in prison. I don't care who opened that door. Just open that door and let me out. Shout with me, let me out. When it's time to come up here, fix your eyes on Jesus. Who is the author and the finisher of your faith? Put your faith in the cross and the blood that was shed because you are not demon possessed. You are demonized. Big difference. Deliverance is not exorcism. Deliverance is me helping you clean your own house. You're not demon possessed. A Christian that's blood washed cannot be demon possessed. Why? Because the Holy Spirit lives on the inside. Well, what you are doing today is you're coming to the table and having us wash your feet. Peter said, wash me all over, Lord. But what did Jesus say? You already clean through the word. I'm here to tell you, you already sealed by the Holy Spirit. You're not demon possessed unless you're not saved. And if you're here tonight and you're not sure of your salvation, repent of your sin. Ask Christ to be your savior because deliverance is illegal if you're not born again. For what it means for me to cast out your devils to go back home and live in sin. The devil will leave the building but wait for you in the elevator of your building. Become born again and get saved for real. And if you're a backslider, come back home. The table with your name on it is still waiting for you today. Just come back home. And today what we're going to do is help you to apply the efficacy of what he did on the cross for you. May deliverance ministers, if you're watching me all over the world, make Jesus the center of deliverance ministries and get people away from deliverance idolatry. We don't idolize deliverance, we idolize the deliverer. His name is Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, we don't idolize deliverance, we idolize the deliverer. Look at your neighbor and tell her, we don't idolize deliverance, we idolize the deliverer. And how many of you know Jesus is that deliverer? I have to prepare you because I don't know what forms of theological worldviews you come from. But in this house, we have an apostolic anointing. And if it's not done right, it won't work. It'll just be a good service where we dance, we shout it, and we sweat it because it's hot up in here. But if you do it the right way, even before I finish this message, your demons are gonna be leaving your life. God will be doing some extraordinary great things. Say amen. amen. So when we call you up, you make Christ the central focus. And when a deliverance worker gets to you, get delivered. Get, get set free and, and allow God to do something amazing in your life.